Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lois. I go by the name of I am Lois XO. You can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I leave it right here as I always do. But today we've got a Christmas gift guide for him and I've got 50 ideas. So whether it's your brother, your dad, your granddad, your uncle, your boyfriend, your best friend, another friend, your cousin, anything, there should be something on this list that will, you know, give you an idea. Excuse the tree, it's still not decorated properly and it's never going to be because I'm leaving it like that, I gave up. But, all right, no time to hang about. Let's just get straight into the video. So the first thing I've got is socks. Now socks, you can obviously, it's just a bait one in it. Like you always get boy socks because they always have holes in them and they need new socks all the time, at least once a year, you know, because they won't buy themselves them. So get them some socks just as a stocking filler or something. Next is an alcohol gift set. Now B&M have really good ones. They're like literally like three or four pounds with the kvoss. With the glass, you can get like um, brandy and coke, you can get vodka and coke. There's loads of different sets in B&M. I feel like even if you just get them a big bottle, Cavossier or Henny or something, like, I don't know, boys just love it, and they like a little, a little one bottle to keep in their bedroom. I don't know why they do, but it's always a good idea to get them one. Next is some coffee. I mean, some guys drink coffee, so um, if it's maybe an older guy in the family, some nice coffee pods or some, like a nice pot of coffee, if they drink it. Because a lot of men drink coffee, you know. It's actually quite shocking. I see him at work at the caf. People go to Tesco's cafe and I see all the men can I have a flat white. No, you can't. But yeah, so get them some coffee. A tool box, like a little tool building kit. I feel like every guy needs a building kit because you're gonna be asked to do jobs around the house. So, you know, it's always like the guy always has the screwdriver or the drill. Get him a little tool kit for when things go wrong. Then I've got a card game. You know, everybody likes a little card game. Snap, jacks. No, what are they? What is it, blackjack? I don't know the card games, but. I feel like a card game is always a good idea. Men love it, even like games like dominoes. Like guys love that. So I feel like that's a really good idea. A wash set, so you can go for things like Baileys and Hardin, Rituals, Nivea, FC UK. Um, all of those different ones, you can get them in B&M, you can get them in Boots, you can get them in John Lewis, you can get them everywhere, literally. So it just depends on the price range you wanna go. Um, this goes about saying, a pajama set, every guy needs PJs, you know? Every guy needs them. Not every guy wears them, but it's good for like, if they need to like stay out somewhere, you know? It's good to have a little emergency backup PJ set. This one I'm gonna get for chills, a portable charger. Yeah? Listen, I'm sick of everybody using my portable charger or my charger, you know? Get your own. Listen, I'm getting everybody portable chargers this year. And good ones, Belkin portable chargers, not playing about for nobody. Every guy needs a portable charger. It's one thing that they will always use because all boys always need to charge their phone. They leave the house on 2%. Um, a personalized phone case. I just feel like it's a really nice idea to get one of those. Maybe like a nice rugged one. I feel like guys, you know, they don't really spend too much on phone cases, but you can get like a nice personalized one with their name on. And it's just like a little keepsake as well. Gym wear. So gym wear is always a really good one. Guys love to go to the gym. So maybe a nice, you know, gym says or shorts and the top, some dry fit stuff. A book, now this is more for the older generation, like granddads and dads and uncles and stuff. I mean, you know, somebody might want to read, like if you have like a brother that's into reading. But for me, it's more the older generation of the family. Um, a book's always a nice idea because when they, when they read it, they can think about you and the person who've got it for them. Thermals, thermals is always a good idea if you've got like somebody in the family that works in like construction. Obviously it's getting cold now. Um, B&M have some really good like thermal wear. I think it, you get like a deal as well, like buy one, buy two get one free or something um, and the thermal wear is really good tried and tested by somebody I know and apparently it's 10 out of 10. Boxers again goes without saying F and F do some really nice ones or next if not you can go up to Calvin Klein's um, but you know depends depends on how bougie the boy is. Um, a hot cold flask so this again is good if somebody works on like construction or somewhere where you're, they're constantly working and might want to bring um, a hot drink if they're outside or even a cold drink if they're working in the in the summer it's a really good versatile thing to have so for example i have friends that are roofers they probably benefit from a flask which is hot and cold because in the summer they can have the cold drink which will stay cold all day but in the winter they can have the hot drink which will stay warm for time in it so makes sense then i've got a mug guy guys love a good mug you know um i feel like everybody has like their one mug in the house that they drink from every day mine's gonna be my new Crusade one but you can get mugs from like b m really good mugs in there actually and loads of different ones to choose from um or you've got places like tesco's or again like the crusade on john lewis um it just depends on what your budget is really for them for the mug obviously you use it every day if it's somebody that you know is going to drink like tea coffee this and third every day a mug's good because they will use it a lot i think this one kind of is a bit bait trainers guys love a good trainer in it um if you want a budget 
I can't even give you a budget trainer because all men's trainers are quite expensive to be fair, aren't they? But any sort of trainer is what I would say. Uh, guys love a trainer, they wear them all day, every day. So I would definitely get a guy trainer. Um, and then aftershave, you've got your, you know, your popular ones like One Million, by Packer Rabanne, Chanel Blue. Or you've got your cheaper alternatives like Zara ones. So Zara men's um, section of perfumes. I think they range from as little as about six, seven pounds up to about 15, 20 pounds. Really good, nice, cheap alternative. And they do smell really nice as well. Um, a speaker, so speakers for any guy that wants, you know, listens to music. Some guys might want a nice speaker in their bedroom. So it would be really nice to have a speaker in there or one that they can take out. Um, a weight set, so like for gym, obviously the gyms keep closing. So if they're into their fitness, you can get them a nice little weight set. Have fun trying to bring it in the house, so it's probably going to be heavy. But yeah, I feel like a weight set is a really nice idea. Um, boxing gloves, if they're into boxing, um, especially again with the gyms being closed, you know, it makes sense for boxing gloves. Even if they're into boxing, you can get some nice fresh gloves. Um, so I've got earphones, so like AirPods, if you want to go for the more expensive alternative. If not, you've got like your in-ear Dr. Dre Beats. Um, with wires, I think they're only like £30, something like that. Um, really nice alternative for it's slightly cheaper. If not, you've got places like Tesco's which sell all the different kinds of earphones and you'll definitely find some from literally between like £6 up to like £100. So you've got a big wide range there. Um, shot glasses, I don't know why I put that down. I just feel like guys that like to go on nights out, it'd be nice for them to have a little set of their own shot glasses. Slippers, guys, don't pretend you don't like slippers because I know you do. Listen, I know a lot of boys that like to wear slippers around the house, you know. So... Slippers is always a good idea. A shaving kit, so I've got an engraved shaving kit, but it doesn't have to be engraved. If you know somebody that likes to pamper themselves, then a shaving kit is definitely worth it. I feel like, you know, if they take care of themselves, it's always a good sign. And a lot of guys don't actually make it bait that they are into grooming, but they are. So a shaving kit would be a really nice touch, especially with their name engraved on it. Um, if a guy likes football, you can get them a football shirt, maybe with their name on the back and like their favorite number. Um, I've never done this, but I feel like it would be like a really nice thing to have to get somebody. Um, a car rescue kit, so like a little kit that you put in your car for like if you have like a puncture or if you break down, anything like that. I feel like, because guys know what they're doing, sometimes they don't need to call the AA because they know about the car. And like me, I'd be calling granddad or mum. Next, I have a grooming voucher. So um, some guys actually get their brows done, like a lot more guys than you think. And you can get them like a grooming voucher, like so for like an eyebrow wax and tidy or for like a beard treatment or like a hair treatment. Um, it's always a really nice idea because men love looking after themselves more than you would think, you know. Um, next, I've got a car air freshener. Now, um, my favourite ones are from Rituals, but you can get any car air freshener, maybe Yankee Candle or something. But the Rituals one, it's like a little block of wood, it looks like, and it's quite like man masculine. It's quite a nice like thing that I think a male would like in the car, and they smell really nice and the smell lasts for months. So Rituals is definitely one I would opt for. Next, I've got an engraved pen. If they work anywhere that they need to write things down, an engraved pen's always nice because every time they look at it they can think of you next we've got like a nice personalized lighter if they smoke or a pack of lighters if you know that they smoke or well yeah that's really the only time you use a lighter but yeah um if they do smoke or anything then a nice lighter would be a really nice gift and um, then i've got a watch now this could be anywhere from literally like a normal watch to a designer watch to an apple watch to a samsung watch any kind of watch men love a good watch in it i love a watch as well so you know, if they're in need of a new watch, there's definitely one you could get. Um, a wash bag, I feel like when guys are traveling, like a lot of guys like to put their little, their little secret things in their wash bag, like, you know, so they've got maybe their little slice skincare or their hair care, you know, their razor. A wash bag is always a really, really, really practical gift as well. Now, I just put shed plaque. Now I thought this would be good for like the men in the family that go in their shed a lot. Um, so maybe like a granddad or an uncle or a, or a father. Um, if they go in their shed, um, you could get like a nice personalised like shed plaque. Um, car cleaning kit, men love to clean their cars, polish them and all that jazz, so a car cleaning kit would always be a good idea. A passport holder, now I know we can't travel too much right now, yeah, please don't, but you can always travel some time in it, and this thing will never go out of fashion, so a nice passport holder would do the job. And um, skincare, so I've got things like the Remedy, um, I'll show you, I've got it here. So the Remedy is a really nice um, skincare and you know the packaging looks quite unisex so men will probably feel really comfortable using it. Really good for pigmentation if they're worried about that or if they've got any like acne or like shaving bump like marks. The Remedy is really good, I'll link it below. And a personalised keyring, maybe with their name on or a picture of you and them. Chocolate, you can't go wrong with chocolate. I put nuts down but like some, like my granddad, um, my Jamaican granddad loves like cashew nuts so I always get them from every year. 
So that's just like one that I don't know, I always get. Mints, my other granddad really likes mints, so I just put mints down. Uh, then I've got a picture and a frame. So if it's somebody you're close to, maybe a boyfriend, a granddad, a dad, you could get a picture of both of you. You could get a picture printed and put it in a frame and then give them that as a gift. I feel like that's a really nice, um, thoughtful gift. So then I've got sweets, so any type of sweets, so you can get their favourite. I've then got a jumper. You can get these from like ASOS, Collusion, which are unisex. You can get matching if you really want to. You could go to Boohoo Man, you could go to JD, you could go to any of those kinds of shops really. Guys wear jumpers all the time, so it makes sense. Then I've got a playlist. So I thought maybe you could create them a playlist of all their like favorite songs and give it to them. So every time they play it, they could think of you. I just thought that's a really nice gift, especially if you're like on a budget, then you can just make a playlist. And a wallet. So if they need a new wallet, or if they don't have a wallet now, then you can get them one. I've then got protein powder. Now, if your guy's into gym, or anybody you know is into gym, protein powder is always a good idea. Next, I have a jacket. So obviously if they, if they need a new winter coat, you could always get them one or even a gilet anything like that next I've got a hat so guys love baseball caps and stuff so why not get him one or beanie I love a guy in a beanie and then the last thing I've got is a ps5 <laughs> might be out of budget or if not ps4 games or like xbox games whatever console they have I feel like that's a really nice like touch because every time they play the game they can think of who bought them the game please don't but yeah that's it guys from me I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was quite, you know, to the point. That's what I tried to make this video like. Hopefully you found something in this video that will benefit you. Maybe it's given you some more ideas for Christmas. I know that my Christmas lists are always made easier when I go on YouTube and type in gift idea videos. My mind literally goes blank. So like when I have to think of a gift, that's why I wrote it all down for today's video. Let me know if any of you have done your Christmas shopping yet. I am yet to do like literally majority of mine, but you know, it is what it is. If you like the video, please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe if you are new to join the family. My name is Lois. I go by the name of I'm Lois XO. You can follow me on Instagram and TikTok and leave it right here as always do. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Yourself. I'm a merry little Christmas